Wednesday the 21st of June will be the shortest day of the year during the winter solstice when the sun shines directly over the Tropic of Cancer and sunrise will only be 9 minutes before 8 in Cape Town and a few minutes before 7 in Johannesburg. I know some of you might argue this is only the start of winter but us meteorologists believe winds already started on the 1st of June and the almost full dams in the Western Cape is a clear sign that winter is already in full swing. But one thing's for sure, from Wednesday onwards, daytime lengths will slowly but surely start to increase as we move closer to spring. But we are expecting more rain on Wednesday in Cape Town, so here's your forecast. On Wednesday, we've got another front moving over the southwestern areas, but quickly weakening. will only slide over the coastal towns, bring some cloud and light rain from parts of the Western Cape, the Overberg, later the southern coastline and the eastern Cape, before completely fizzling out with morning drizzle along the eastern escarpment. Everyone's been asking me how much rain has already fallen in the Western Cape since the start of June. This is accumulated rainfall in Cape Town of about 170 millimeters. 357 millimeters have already fallen in Sirius from the 1st of June to the 20th and almost 290 millimeters in Pol, which is more than double the monthly rainfall for the month of June in those areas and we've still got the rest of the month left. In the Western Cape, as mentioned, we've got that weak cold front sliding over the coastal areas with a northwesterly wind blowing, becoming a cloudy, and into the afternoon, some light rain possible in Cape Town, as well as Hermanus, Robertson, Swellendam, and Bredarsdorp. That front's quickly moving away, only moving over the coastal towns. Late afternoon light rain for the garden route, as well as some light rain possible in parts of the Little Karoo. And then a northwesterly wind blowing and picking up over parts of the Karoo, as well as the Eastern Cape. And a westerly wind turning southwesterly and blowing fresh along the coast of the Eastern Cape. Later light rain possible in East London. It's a cold morning for the northern areas, as as well as in Kokstad, only one degree. Six in Pietermaritzburg, it's cloudy at first in Kwazulu Natal, and then it's going to be a mild to cool afternoon with temperatures in the lower 20s. Cold at first over the high felt of Pumalanga, it will remain to the afternoon, a cloudy at first along the escarpment with morning a drizzle from Gombela, as well as over the escarpment of Limpopo and in parts of the low felt. Later, the cloud clearing up, but a mainly sunny day, and it's also cooler in Limpopo with temperatures in the lower 20s. It's an icy cold start to your day for Northwest with minus three in Freiburg, only one in Fentersdorp and dropping to freezing level in Potchefstroom. Some high level cloud moving overhead with temperatures in the lower 20s. Also temperatures dropping close to freezing level in the Northern Cape on Wednesday. A thick layer of high level cloud expected to move over the Northern Cape and remaining a cool to cold the afternoon. It's an icy and frosty start your Wednesday for the free state. Some high level cloud moving in from the west and remaining chilly the afternoon. Through the morning in Johannesburg, one in Vereniging. Temperatures only in the lower 20s for Halting, but at least a few degrees warmer compared to Tuesday. Into Thursday, the rain clearing up, but temperatures remaining below 20 degrees over large parts of South Africa. And on Friday, similar conditions expected. It's clear to see the temperatures are battling to recover after that series of cold fronts with 19 in Cape Town and 17 in Johannesburg. Well, that's all from me. And remember, no matter the weather, we're in this together.